In this Windows Server Basics video, I'll demonstrate how you can perform an in-place upgrade of Windows Server 2012 R2 to Windows Server 2025, as long as you have the installation media. In the past, Windows Server in-place upgrades were limited to current minus two versions. For example, you could perform an in-place upgrade to Windows Server 2022 from Windows Server 2019 and Windows Server 2016, but not from Windows Server 2012 R2. Windows Server 2025 changes this equation and you are able to perform an in-place upgrade from Windows Server 2012 R2 through to Windows Server 2025 without any intervening steps. This means that all of the workloads and applications running on your Windows Server 2012 R2 system will still be there when you upgrade to Windows Server 2025. Of course, I'm going to provide the caveat that before you do any of this, you have a complete backup. Because whilst it's almost certainly going to work without a problem, one cannot account for chaos and random acts of undiagnosed incompatibility. Test all of the applications in a safe development padded room before trying to perform an in-place upgrade of a production system. In this demo, we're going to perform an in-place upgrade of a Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller to Windows Server 2025. To make things more interesting, the Windows Server 2012 R2 computer that I have is configured as the only domain controller in an Active Directory domain. The reason I chose to do it this way is because I want to demonstrate that some checks are done to make sure that you don't completely stuff up your environment if you try something similar. This Windows Server 2012 R2 computer is up to date with all software updates. Definitely something that was fun to do when I downloaded the ISO from my Visual Studio subscription to create this demo. I'd forgotten how intensive updates that weren't cumulative are. The first thing I'm going to do is run an elevated PowerShell prompt so I can then run AD prep. Normally, you'd not have to run AD prep because you would not be doing something crazy like performing an in-place upgrade of the only domain controller in the forest. You'd add a Windows Server 25 member server to an existing domain and as part of the promotion, AD prep would run automatically. But because I'm taking more of a cowabunga approach in this demo, I have to run AD prep manually to update the schema. If you were doing this, you'd actually run domain prep after you run forest prep, but I'm not going to do that because I want to demonstrate that the actual upgrade process will do a sanity check and pick up that the domain prep hasn't been done. To start the in-place upgrade, I open the mounted installation media, which is just a server 25 ISO attached to my Hyper-V VM, and I double click on setup. The install process checks for any updates and then asks me some prosaic questions about licensing. Here I select the I previously installed Windows Server on this PC option, as I don't want to muck about with activation keys. I then choose Server 25 Data Center with desktop because the computer I'm on is running Server 2012 R2 Data Center with desktop. I agree to the license and then I choose to keep everything on the server, which is why you do an in-place upgrade in the first place. The upgrade process does some sanity checks based on the server's current configuration and is able to detect that I want to upgrade a domain controller, but that I have not domain prepped the current domain. It's good that this check is performed and that it doesn't entirely trust me to have prepared everything. I reopen an elevated command prompt and run the domain preparation command. I then choose refresh, the check is performed again and I'm good to go. The upgrade process starts, the computer reboots a couple of times, I've cut about 20 minutes out of this.
Once the upgrade finishes, I'm able to log back in using my domain administrator account. Even though it obviously looks like a new operating system, I view the properties in File Explorer and verify that this computer is now running Windows Server 2025. Next, I open Active Directory Users and Computers to verify that the domain controller role is present on the upgraded server. I can view the domain functional level that has not been upgraded and then update the domain functional level to Windows Server 2025. I then open Active Directory Domains and Trusts and then raise the forest functional level to Windows Server 2025. And that is how straightforward it is to perform an in-place upgrade of a Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller to Windows Server 2025.